Being able to transform any image into any art style is one of the biggest strengths of Nano Banana Pro. So in this video, I'm gonna show you five different art styles and how I created them with reference images and prompts. So let's get right into it. First, we need a source image. We can grab that online or generate one directly in Gemini. Now that I have the image, I need to tell Nano Banana that I want to change its style. So typically what I do is I'll say, change the art style to be and then I put in my option. So here I can use the prompt and explain a specific art style, or I can drag a reference image. So first let's talk about a prompt. So here I'm gonna say a watercolor painting and I'll say loose and gestural brush strokes. And this is because I don't want it to look super realistic and check that out. So you see how I'm getting that loose and gestural look? This is great for like concept art. And I love doing this early on in the design process is because I don't have anything specific and concrete. You know, your imagination can kind of fill in the blanks. So that's why style transfers are great because you don't need to figure out every single detail. Like, oh, this concrete has to look like this or that wood has to look like that. So that's one way of doing it. The next way is with a reference photo. So let's say I want this type of pen style sketch. Now, all I have to do is drag the file into here, the reference photo. All I have to say is change the style to the reference images. And then if I send that off, it'll be able to apply that. And there we go. Look at that. That's beautiful. And it mimicked the style fantastically. So now let's say, for example, you want to edit this, like you actually don't want the pen. Remember, Nano Banana is great as being your conversational partner. So all I have to say is remove the pen from the image and then send that off and then it'll remove it. It's kind of like fancy Photoshop. And there we go. Did a fantastic job blending that in. So now the next style I wanna show you involves kind of like a, a marker style. So I'm gonna grab this reference image and drop it in. I'm gonna say add colored marker like this reference image. So you can see we're just layering in more detail or completely switching all from the prompt. And it doesn't take much to get really good results. And then look at that. You can like literally see where the marker strokes were. I mean, it, it's absolutely crazy. And like, it doesn't look that good to the point where it looked like it's out of my realm of doing. If that makes sense. I feel like my style is not that, that far off from this. So Again, very, very easy. And we're doing all this because we don't want to figure out all the details of the realistic rendering side of things. Like imagine if you're a client, you hire an architect and after the first design meeting, they send you a finished product. That's what scares people. So this stuff, this is a good way to kind of like lead the conversation, you know? If you're having a lot of fun with Nano Banana and you need some extra guidance, I actually wrote a free prompt guide. I have a link in the description below basically break down the strategy of how you should be prompting and I give you a lot of use cases as well as examples of before and after so be sure to check that out again totally free link in the description and let's get back to the video so we talked about watercolor we talked about pen sketch and marker drawing the next one I want to talk about is pop art so now you can grab a reference image or just rely solely on the prompt and you can say change the art to be pop style now look at that now that's like a, a very funky like comic book type of style. Very cool, very fun. And I love like the half toning here. That is nuts. I, I feel like a, like a Marvel character is just gonna walk out. That's very trippy, very trippy, okay. And then the last style for those architect buffs out there is if we made it like Piet Mondrian style. Make it look Piet Mondrian style. That is very cool. So it actually added like the grid and the coloring. Very clever. Now I've got one more style. This is more architect sketch related. So let's see what I could do here. Apply this reference image style. Now check that out. So it actually, wow, it actually transformed the, uh, the grid from the image below and it added text. So one of the benefits of Nano Banana Pro is it actually adds legible text. And this looks just like the diagram. I mean, this is, this is crazy. Similar handwriting too. That is nuts. So if you ever run into the issue where it's pulling in data from the previous image, all you have to do is just use the source image instead of riffing off the previous one. So these are, you know, simple little artifacts. So the next thing I want to do is actually merge some styles. So what I'm going to do here is grab the source image. I'm just going to grab this guy. We'll copy him and I'll paste it here. And now I'll say blend watercolor style with pen sketch architect style. And now, because we've got kind of like this library of different prompts or reference images, you can create your own unique style. So if you don't want to copy someone else's, which, you know, that's a little boring, you can make your own custom unique one. That could be a lot of fun. So experiment with this. And now look at that. This one's my favorite because now you've got like the loose gesturalness 
but then you have that nice definition layer on top. Love this. So you guys can seal this one. I'm giving this one to you, but play around with this. And like, remember, it doesn't need to be like traditional 2D art. So what I mean by that is to go a little crazy, you could actually say, make this scene look like it was knitted. Okay. So if you want to do like a completely different medium, right? If you want to go from like 2D to something that looks a little bit more 3D, it understands all this. And you literally see it says converting to yarn. That's crazy. Look at that. That's crazy. Look at that. That's beautiful. I want this like tapestry, like, you know, on my wall here. That's amazing. So that's my point. Like, don't feel like you're limited to that. So find a bunch of reference images, expand your prompt library and mix and match. And the other cool thing, I feel like this was a total stealth update, but the default resolution out of Nano Banana now is 2K, okay? It's not 1K, it used to be one megapixel. They doubled it and they didn't like say anything. It's actually like not out there, which is really weird. So the only thing missing from Gemini right now is the 4K upscale. You actually can't get 4K right now. That's why I made that video about Google AI Studio. So now you've got 2K, no 4K. Maybe they'll add that soon, but just putting that out there. So you could see here, that this is no longer one megapixel. Look at that. We're at almost 2,800 pixels wide. So nice little stealth update. Definitely a big fan of that. Um, crazy how much better this is getting versus the original Nano Banana. So anyways, that's it for this video. Just wanted to share with you guys some art styles and this like clever way of mashing things together. I think it leads to really interesting ideas. Like this one's my favorite and I'm probably gonna rely on this a lot in the future. But anyways, if you have any questions about this whole workflow and everything, leave a comment below. I always get back to you guys. And as always, think about liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. See you next time.